We finally get some linemen in the seventh round. Yeah, that's a little bit later than I would have attacked this position, but we finally got some linemen. We picked Arlington Hambright, an offensive tackle from Colorado, uh, with our first seventh round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. What is up, guys? I'm back with the Bears offseason reaction video. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Bears content, more Bears analysis, highlights, and so forth. Oh my god, I've done that intro like four times already today because this is my fourth video I'm making on the draft picks that we have had. But guys, oh man, we finally got that lineman that we have been asking for, that we have been praying for from the very beginning. Yeah, it was a lot later than I would have liked. Okay, I would have liked a second round offensive lineman, maybe even like a fifth round. Seventh round is kind of late because these are generally like developmental guys that are not really going to help right away. They could sometimes, but a lot of the times it does take time for them to develop because they have some massive flaws in their game. But they do have that potential, obviously. So, you know, it is later than I would have liked, but it's better late than never, man. And with the value that Ryan Pace got with his earlier draft picks, you know, I'm not so extremely mad at attacking O-line late, even though it's not something that I personally would have done. So we get this guy, Arlington Hambright, a graduate transfer from Oklahoma State. He went to Colorado, and he's pretty old, actually. I, I believe he's 25 years old, so he's pretty old for a draft pick, and Hopefully that gives him a little bit more experience and less development development that he's going to have to do in the NFL. But, you know, when you do get to the NFL, it's a completely different ball game. So he is going to have to take some time to develop. But if you look at his size, man, he's six foot four, 307 pounds. He has the size to play left tackle, but his arms are kind of shorter than most left tackles. So he might play guard in the NFL if he has to. His speed particularly is one reason why he could play guard. He's really athletic, really fast. His lateral quickness is really good. So in his zone blocking run scheme like Juan Castillo's, he is going to be an absolute perfect fit, you know, at tackle or at guard, wherever he ends up playing. But like I mentioned, man, his hands, his technique, all of that, it's going to have to undergo like a lot of developing adjusting to the NFL level because obviously the competition he faced at Colorado it was not that great but he was an absolute monster against the people that he actually played against he earned honorable mention in uh, all Pac-12 honors and he actually won the offensive trench award for outstanding line play after starting all 12 games and only allowing one sack the entire season he was also second on the team with 75 knockdown blocks. So again, he's a really good athlete. He can make these really great blocks and he is going to be a raw prospect right now. He's going to need a lot of great coaching from a coach like Juan Castillo, a really well-respected coach. So that coach, man, he's really going to try to mold this guy into being a starter eventually. Right now, he's going to be a very phenomenal backup, either at guard or at tackle, really, uh, depending on where Castillo want, wants to put him. But I do like a pick like this a lot because we needed more depth. We needed more competition on the O-line. Now, this guy really has no chance at starting at left tackle or at right tackle this season because he is too raw. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad at that. But trust me, guys, I think Juan Castillo is going to do a lot of great things with the offensive line talent that we already had. I know it seems like a really long time ago, but Charles Leno was actually a pro bowler in 2018 okay he actually played above average for left tackles and for the majority of his career he's been a really average left tackle last year he did take a step back there was a lot of stuff that you know he did not do very well his penalties were an issue you know allowing these sacks being just lazy in certain aspects of his game but when you bring a coach like Juan Castillo a really well-respected coach that has had so much success in the NFL I trust a guy like this to take Charles Leno back to his 2018 form and maybe even better. I've hated a lot on Charles Leno, you know, the past year because he wasn't a great player last year, obviously, but a lot of that, again, maybe it had to do with coaching, okay? If we're going to say that Chubisky was only bad for one year, he deserves a chance next year. If we're going to say that Matt Nagy was only bad for one year, he deserves a chance next year. You got to say the same thing for Charles Leno and this offensive line. It was not that bad in 2018. Run blocking, yeah, was pretty poor, but pass protection was not that bad in 2018. So if a coach like Juan Castillo can go in here and coach the talent that we already had to being, you know, at least average or above average, 
that's going to be really great. And I love taking a guy like this, you know, Arlington Hambright in the seventh round to really develop and add more, you know, competition at these offensive line positions. Overall, a great pick. Not much I can say about it because there's only so much you can say about seventh round prospects. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And as always, bear down. <music>